In today's Man 21 video, I'm going to be starting my free offensive scheme for the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook in Man NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, I just want to welcome you and say thank you for watching today. Hopefully, there's something that you can take away that's going to help you win more games in Madden 21 because that's what my channel is all about. I post four times a day here on YouTube trying to help people and help myself even get better at this game, Madden 21. And we're going to be talking today about a scheme out of the free scheme out of the Baltimore Ravens offensive playbook, okay? Um, and so if you have not already, I do wanna encourage you right now and ask you to go ahead and go down to the bottom right of the screen. You're gonna see that subscribe button. I want you to click on that, and then I want you to click that little bell icon to the right side of it. What that's gonna do for you is it's gonna allow you to be notified every time we post a new free Man 21 tip and trick, and I really believe that these tips and tricks are gonna help you get better at this year's game. All right, so Ravens playbook, and what we're going to do, we're in our five sets for success series on the Ravens playbook, where we're going through every single playbook in Madden 21, and we are literally going to, um, we are literally going to be discussing a free, full scheme for um, Madden 21, and so that's what we're going to be doing right now uh, with this with this Baltimore Ravens uh, scheme. We're gonna be jumping into our base formation again, five sets for success. What that practically means is you're gonna have your first primary formation that you're gonna be running. You are going to be running a uh, base formation. That's something that's gonna be good against man, against zone, you're gonna be able to run the ball against weak block boxes. And that is the gun spread Y flex. So the audibles you're gonna to wanna to set, you are going to want to have Raven HB seam in your audibles. You're also going to want to have the play circle in your audibles. I personally really, really like the speed option this year as my run audible down. You can have PA deep outs there as well. You can also come out in the play Y sale if you want to. You can put that in your audibles. And the play we're going to be specifically talking about, though, the best base play probably in Madden 21 uh, or one of the best ones is the play circle. This play can do so much for you this year. It is a very, very solid play. Now, shotgun spread, a couple things. One of the reasons it's so good in Madden 21 is because the pressure is really non-existent. But if they are in like a dime 146, what you'll see is I can run this little speed option. And most of the time, I'm just telling you right now, if they have their option on conservative, which most of, most of them will have this, this speed option is really good. Literally, it's a power sweep. Um, it's a it's a speed sweep to the quarterback. You see, I can playmaker to the left or the right, and you'll see. Literally, you're going to get pretty good uh, animations. But again, if they are optioning conservative, which most people are going to be doing because they don't want you to run with the quarterback, you're going to see. I love this little speed option. You're just going to hit L1 once you want to when you want to pinch the ball to your running back. And I find this to be so effective this year, um, so effective this year uh, running the ball. These little speed options, what's also really cool about them is you can literally run them straight forward. If you want to run them straight forward, you can easily do that. All you got to do is run straight. These speed options might be better than uh, the Panther Heavy. As you see here, the L1 pitches, I think the L1 pitches are kind of glitchy. Um, you can pitch the ball at just the weirdest angles. And so to me, speed option might be one of the best runs in the game. Like I said, you can run it right down the middle if you want. And if you have like a Lamar Jackson that has fast break, that's going to help even more. Uh, so um, if I just literally just pitch right here, you see you can run your quarterback down. And this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about this is such a glitchy run because you can run your quarterback straight down right here. And then he's still going to be able to most of the time, and I pitched it just a little bit late right there. He's still, for the most part, going to be able to make that pitch uh, to the right, to the, to the right for sure, to the left sometimes. See, I'm just going to run straight down. And then see how see how he gets that pitch out there? That's very, very consistent. I mean, that's very, very consistent for me. I can run this over and over again and show you. We'll run it one more time. We'll run it to the left side. Um, but this speed option play right here is really good. You see it's not as good left as it is right. You do sometimes get those animations when you try to run middle. But if you're going to run the ball to the middle of the field, and this is what I love about this idea of a three-headed rushing attack. This is a three-headed rushing attack in one play. As you see that, see how the, the pitch is just so a glitchy? If you literally... I mean, literally, all you got to do is just run the ball to the left side. See how it gets that pitch out there? Isn't that crazy? And you could that's consistent, right? And so what's going to happen is they're going to start trying to come down on Kyler Murray. Well, if they start doing that, I can run right middle, and then I can just pitch the ball all the way to the outside, and, you know, this will work fairly well. Now, again, 
it's probably going to work best if you just run the ball straight. But if I run straight forward, look at this, um, this little pitch here. I just find a very good consistency with this pitch play. Uh, I find this to be a really, really good run audible down. You know, against these dollar three two sixes or any of that stuff, you're going to get pretty good consistency with this play um, for the most part. And most of the time, most of the time, they are going to be optioning the quarterback, which means they're going to be taking the quarterback. So this pitch defender is almost always going to be going up against the quarterback, Kyler Murray, right there. We pitched it a little bit too soon, but you're going to see this play um, just. This play just does work for you. I mean, literally, um, see how see how you get this. You get really good blocking on this play. I just think it's really good. So run this play. All right. So the next thing is um, circle. Literally, there's no adjustments. I personally don't make any adjustments whatsoever. What you're going to see is this route to DeAndre Hopkins is going to absolutely torch man-to-man -to -man coverage very, very, very consistently. The only adjustment I might make on this is take taking Christian Kirk and putting him on this route. But you see here, you're going to get a man switch. See that right there? You're going to get a, a nice little man switch. This route to Kenyon Drake is going to have to be user defended. They can't really, they, they can't not user defend this. This is a quick little snap throw. And if you got good user stick, there's going to be a good five to 10 yards consistently against any coverage in the game. This gets under every zone, gets under everything. There's really nothing that's going to stop this route from winning at some point. What's cool is it's a two window route, so you can throw it right there. You can also wait for him to cut up field, and you can also wait for him to cut over. As you see right there, that's going to allow you to beat man to man coverage very very consistently the next read on this is this quick out route to uh christian kirk you see right there passing to the outside you're going to be able to click on now what i will do from time to time is i will just put him on a curl you see here by putting him on a curl i love curl routes this year if you pass the inside you're going to get that nice inside position you're going to be able to beat that coverage now let's say they run like cover four or some zone coverage what you're going to see with this Number one, I do want to point out this little route to the running back is going to consistently beat the zone coverage. You can easily pass lead that um, up, and you're going to be able to beat pretty much every zone in the game. That's cover two. Um, well, that was cover four. I'll show you cover two here. Right when he cuts up field, and you see you're going to consistently get up field for two, three yards, two, three yards, two, three yards. But what you're also going to be able to do is if they go zone coverage, you're going to see he's going to come up. See how the zone keeps falling away from him? That's what makes this play so good. Zones just fall away from this route. I don't know why. I don't know what it is, but literally zone coverage will fall away inevitably from this route. And so he's going to just consistently get yardage. He's going to get yardage against the zone. That's what he does. Um, he's going to beat man. He's going to beat zone. This play right here, this route, is one of the best routes in Madden 21. Literally one of the best routes in Madden 21. It has to be user defended. Um, it, just, it just does. Uh, that's what's so good about it. You see, you can smart route. This is what also something really cool. You can smart route this route, and what you'll see is it will actually it will still toast man consistently. So if you're running against somebody, you know, if you're running against a lot of zone, like maybe you're running against a lot of cover four um, or something like that, if you smart route this route, watch how the zone continues to fall away, and then you can just possession catch it for a good 15 yards against his own coverage. The crossing route is so good. Um, they're going to have to use this route. We'll show you this against pretty much every zone. Every zone this route will get open, uh, and maybe at different points, what you'll see here, see how deep this crosser route goes. Now, if you've got a quarterback, obviously Kyler Murray, for whatever reason, is having some challenges making the throw. But this crossing route, I'm telling you right now, you get time in the pocket, you step up, you see the crossing route, going to absolutely dot, pretty much dot every single coverage uh, with that route. That one route right there, it's 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 not as good, in my opinion, as an over route, but it's still really, really effective. As you see, DeAndre Hopkins will be able to beat the coverage very, very consistently. This is probably a little bit better against zone coverage, I would say, because if they're running cover three, you're going to see uh, this is cover two. And see here, I can, I can throw the um, crossing route at different points. So if I come right in that window right there, you see I can easily hit that window very very simple then what's also really cool about this route is as he crosses the formation you'll see here as he crosses the formation maybe i get out of the pocket with kyler murray throw the ball on the run and you've got an absolute dot on the sideline for a really solid game what you also have with this play is the quick seam route to williams um, just a simple um, he is going to pull deep blue zones with him for the most part one other thing I did want to talk about. So if they run like cover four, let's say they go cover four, and let's just say for whatever reason they take the outside quarter away on the right side of the field, what you're going to see is this little um, – ah, Kyler Murray is struggling. I feel like Kyler Murray does this all the time. 
he throws the ball just out of bounds. But what you'll see is on this play, like if let's say they run cover four, but let's say they they don't drop, let's say they drop it into make like a makeshift cover two, basically. Um, you're going to be able to pass lead this to the right. Click on. You can make a nice ag catch against most defenses. What's also really cool is the route to Fitzgerald. Um, the route to Fitzgerald is more for like a, uh, a busted coverage zone, more of a constraint theory route. But what you'll see with this play is when he comes out and up, he's going to get off that left edge right there. And most of the time, you're going to be able to fit that in against most cover twos, as long as the flat zones aren't set to like 15,000 you know, yards, like 30 yards or whatever. But you'll see they're going to play that crosser. But you'll complete a lot of a lot of crossing routes on this play right here. The next play we're going to talk about is the play Raven HB Seam. Basically, what I do, this is my four verticals concept, honestly. Um, the only thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to take my wide receiver on the right side, and I'm just going to place him on a 10-yard out route or a 5-yard out route, or a simple curl route will do. Uh, but this is going to basically pull the flat zones out. Um, this route doesn't do that great against man-to-man, -man, but I will show you. Um, it's more of a zone specific play. Now if they do run man to man, I do want to under I do want you to I do want to underline something with this play. Let's say they run man to man coverage. What you're going to see here um, basically is this route can get can get inside position, but it's a little bit tricky. So for the most part, I would not call Raven HBC against man to man coverage, but what I would do is I would simply work these uh, route combinations against zone. You see here, you can pass lead right through the zone with Kenyon Drake. I need a possession catch that there, but you can easily pass lead this route open. Um, it beats every zone coverage in the game. Literally every zone coverage in the game is not going to stand a chance. You're going to see here, um, we'll run cover four. You see, I just pops it right in the zone. So the running back route is going to be consistently an issue. What's also really cool is, let's say they take uh, the safety, maybe put him in a, maybe they put the safety in a a zone or they try to take away the running back manually with the safety well this time he's not going to cut in he's going to cut straight up and what you'll see is he's going to get in a tender spot there as Kyler Murray just completely overthrows I have had such an issue with Kyler Murray this year for throwing the ball but anyway that's Raven HB seam and then on the left side you still have you have this route to Fitzgerald um it's not a man beating route, it's a zone beating route. So we'll show you this. But again, Raven HBC is gonna kill pretty much any zone in the game. Uh, literally pretty much any zone in the game. Um, it's gonna attack them vertically very, very well. You're gonna see this seam route to Fitz is gonna be fairly consistent for you. What you're also gonna have is if you let's say they run like cover three. So you're running HBC against cover three, and what you'll see here is I think that was may have been cover three match, but you'll see these routes typically will work just fine against this. I personally don't necessarily love the positioning of everything on this play, but this play route, this route right here, fits right in that little window right there. It's going to be tight, but you're going to be able to fit it in most of the time, especially if they deep blue that deep middle linebacker. And if they don't deep blue that middle linebacker, then you're going to be able to hit other things as well. But what you'll see is these little fades on the outside. They're going to get the outside position, get rerouted on the outside, and you can click onto those very, very consistently. Um, one other thing I do want to recommend with this is if you're running into some issues, you just run the streak to the wide side of the field. So you do need to kind of have a hash. But if you're on the right side hash here, what you're going to see is I can run the um, I can run the streak to the to the boundary. You see here he's going to get that outside release, and DeAndre Hopkins will typically win that aggressive catch fairly consistently. Um, Patriots do have an unreal uh, ability to just lock down certain routes. So see right there, right when he gets over the top, and you're going to see we're going to be able to fit that in right very quick, quick route. So that's Raven HBC. You want to run it to either hash. Um, we can run the other side uh, seam route. We can run that one easily. Um, again, I would put the wide receiver on the right on out if I knew he was not in cover two. But if he's, if I know he's in cover two, you'll see these little uh, fades right here. Click on, and you're going to be able to consistently beat the coverage. Make sure you possession catch it. Make sure you user catch it because if you don't, you're going to get tackled. You're going to get catch tackle drops. You're going to get all that kind of stuff. But right there, click on. We're just going to possession catch it. As you see right there, we're going to work the ball up the field, up the seams, out of the spread.
So you got seams right, seams left. Um, you also have the uh, middle of the field open as well. Uh, the next play I want to talk about is PA deep outs. I love this play. This is a little bit of a shot play, but if you're facing uh, a lot of like cover three, cover four, this is your go-to play right here. It's going to be a little in fake, fake the inside zone run, but what you'll see is this route to triangle is going to absolutely torch zone coverage pretty much against anything that they do. So PA deep outs, this little triangle route you're going to see here is going to get over the top of the cover three click on and if that's a faster receiver that's going to be an absolute dot what i like about it let's see if i can get a different cover three here what you'll see here pa deep outs you can block the running back if you want you don't have to but you can snap of the ball step up in the pocket and what you'll see is this right here is going to kill uh cover three right over the middle there and you also have the concept for a one-play score against cover three as well. Uh, just just want to make sure you get time in the pocket for this. But you'll see if you have time in the pocket, you roll out. And Fitz is going to get a nice one-on-one -on -one animation for you. Now, if they run, let's say they run like cover four. What you'll see with this play right here, PAD bouts. Got that in route on the right side, gonna pull that safety. Once Fitz gets over the top, you're gonna get that far right pass lead, and you're typically gonna get that ice over the top animation. Let me show it to you to the other side. We've got to need a little bit of a faster. Uh, let me grab, let me throw. If you're running this with like uh, any team you're running this with, I do want you to make sure that you put your fastest wide receiver in the slot. So that's Andy Isabella for these guys. Um, you can also run the play curl flats. I will go. We can go over that for hours. Uh, curl flats, deep attack, sail, all of those plays this year are really, really good. But we will just show you this specific route combination against the cover three. So what you'll see here, uh, PA deep outs. All I'm going to do is block my running back. That's literally it. I can look at both out routes if I have a check down. But if I have a good fast wide receiver, what you'll see right here, I don't know why Kyler Murray can't make throws today, but literally the um, the route to Isabella will kill cover three. We get throw out of sack animations. It won't, but practice mode drives me crazy with the pass rush. But here you'll see PA deep outs. And you'll see it right there over the top. Eh, Jonathan Jones is eating my lunch. But if that doesn't if that doesn't open, you obviously have the rest of the stuff as well. Mmm. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe it doesn't beat cover three. I don't know. Normally that route beats cover three, but it's not beating cover three tonight uh, for me. But what you can do is if they if they're running something where for whatever reason they're not you're not winning, you can hit these out routes. These out routes are nice check down routes this year. Um, but mostly, guys, to be quite honest with you, uh, majority of the time I'm either running speed option or I'm running um, circle. Circle is just circle is just that good of a play. Speed option, if you run it to the left, you kind of want to keep it with your quarterback. Um, but if you run it to the right, there's just so much more you can do with this play. And I just love that little pitch. I love the fact that you can run it to the middle of the field, and then you can pitch it to the outside of the field. But in general, guys, circles the play. Circles the play from this formation. Uh, to me, this little uh, swap exchange route is going to help with um, – it's that little swap exchange route. Look at how freaking fast they block shit. That little swap exchange route um, with Isabella is going to help if they run like a cover three, you know, kind of match principles. Uh, we'll show you this right here, but this is what that's good for. So this is like cover three match. Um, Kyler Murray just cannot make the throws, which is driving me insane. But you'll literally see if, if they run some type of match coverage, what you're going to be able to do against this in the circle play specifically is Andy Isabella is going to absolutely torch the uh, guy, especially if he's fast. 
and for whatever reason, the Patriots' coverage is just locked down. But if they run cover three match, cover four palms, any of those coverages, you're going to be able to hit that over the top against that. But also with this play, you're going to see the circle route is the best route in the game. Um, the circle route to the – got that user route right there. You see there, any pressure they're going to send, you're going to be able to get the ball out. And then you're also going to be able to consistently work that crossing route against the uh, zone coverages or the man coverages. And this route to Isabella, for the most part, against like against those bail or, or those match coverages, I really like that route's chances. Um, doesn't always work out for me. But you'll see here with match coverages this year, match coverages might be you know fairly decent, but there are some principles to me where they just get absolutely torched over the middle. But as you see there, Drake, that circle rock check down is going to be very consistent for you. Anyways, guys, that is the base formation of Baltimore Ravens. We've got some more stuff coming for you out of that. So make sure that you are subscribed so you can get access to that. Also, if you want to get the most out of my YouTube channel, one of the best ways that you can do that is to join my channel Discord. Uh, Discord is basically a communication platform that allows you to communicate as a whole entire channel together in real time. So I can chat with guys real time. I love it. Absolutely love being able to chat with you guys about Madden. So if you haven't already, make sure to join that Discord. A link is in the description of this video. If you have a Madden 21 question, you can always text in. My cell number is 812-216-3644. And we will see you on our live stream here in about 30 minutes to an hour. We'll be streaming here tonight on YouTube at 10 o'clock Eastern time.